One thought he could fly. The other one thought he was invincible. They were both wrong. <laughs> Inside joke. Let's start off by saying Baraka Tayahawa. Bahashem Yahushai. Bahashem Racha Kodash. Welcome to another live lesson. The name of this one is They Were Both Wrong. Now, this is based off of a video that was just sent to me by Elder Yashawamba. Obviously, these are Muslims. This Muslim Jake chick. I guess she's the Jake. She might be, a, you know, one of them Ishmaelites. And they were questioning this guy, uh, Pastor... Uh, what's his name? Um, Pastor something natural or something like that. This guy right here. This cat. You know, um, and uh, pretty much... Matter of fact, Cliff Cliff Netchel, Cliff Netchel, I believe it is, Pastor Cliff Netchel, and uh, pretty much she's questioning him about a couple of scriptures in the Book of Saint John, to where she's saying that the Bible there are internal contradictions in the Bible, and she reads Saint John the first chapter and Saint John the fifth chapter to prove her point. Then he came back with a rebuttal, but as soon as he started speaking, she wouldn't let him answer. You know, you know, that emotional woman thing, you know. Well, no, how can, that doesn't make sense. But he didn't even get into breaking it down. But he was wrong because he's saying that Yahweh Shai, who they call Christ, is the Most High and they're not. Yahweh Shai is a God. He is divine, but he is not the Most High. He is a separate entity from the Most High, but he does have God-like qualities or he is a god you know should i say it that way he is divine you know so they were both wrong but he was somewhat right to a certain degree you know but they were both wrong that's why i started off with the quote from the steven siegel seagal movie i call him steven siegel seagal movie um mark for death i believe it was you know he said one thought he could fly the other one thought he was invincible they were both wrong so they were both wrong to a certain degree. So the scripture she read was St. John 1.18. No man have seen the Most High at any time. The only begotten Son, which is in the bosom of the Father, he have declared him. So she's saying no man have seen the Most High at any time. Right? Then, when we go to St. John 5, the other rebuttal, she, or the other scriptures that she had, that she tried to bring out, uh... St. John 5, 19, Then answered Yahweh and said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, The Son can do nothing of himself, but what he seeth the Father do. For what things soever he doeth, these also doeth the Son like, likewise. So she's saying that one scripture is, there is internal contradictions because one scripture say no man have seen the Most High, and the other one saying that Yahweh Shai seen the Most High. Right? Then he's saying that the reason why is because Yahweh Shai is God. And it's not the case. Yahweh is a God. And then somebody in the audience said that they were God. And he said, no, you're not God. Well, I beg to differ. Well, the scriptures beg to differ. Yahweh himself, you know, said that. You know, and if that individual in the crowd knew the scriptures, he could have hit him with this scripture here in St. John 10 and 34. And Yahweh well, first let's start at 33. The Jews answered him saying, for a good work we stone thee not, but for blasphemy and because thou, being a man... Makest thyself the most high. In other words, you make yourself a God. Yahweh Shai answered them, Is not is it not written in your law? I said, Ye are gods. If he called them gods, unto whom the word of the most high came, and the scripture cannot be broken, say ye of him whom the Father hath sanctified and sent into the world, thou blasphemest, because I said I am the Son of the Most High or the Son of God. So he is a God, but he is not the God most high, you know, Yahweh. He is the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son. He is His, you know, well, uh, uh, um, beloved, you know, but He is not the Most High, but He is a God. So they were both wrong, all right? So when it says here that no, no man has seen the Most High, no man has seen the Heavenly Father. He told that to Moses, you know, no man can see my face and live. When Yahweh Shai says here, but what he seeth the Father do, meaning what? The actions that the Most High does, things that he do on the earth, that, you know, is what he's doing. Plus, also, 
he was given instructions when he was on the right hand of the Most High. You know, he was given instructions to do. So when it speaks about here, see if the Father do, this goes into Hebrews 11 and 1. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen, because we don't see it, but there's a belief. This is, this is what faith is about. There is a belief that the Heavenly Father exists, that he's doing these things, that he's going to uh, hold true to his promise, as he said, you know, but it's not seen. But the actions of things playing out on the earth, such as prophecies and so on and so forth, are seen on the earth. So this is how the Heavenly Father is seen on the earth, by the prophecies that he spoke long ago, coming to pass now and speaking. So some people are going to hear thundering, and some people are going to actually hear the word, which are the actual prophecies playing out on the planet, then also coming from the prophets. It says, For by it the elders obtain a good report. Then it says, Through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of the Most High. Right, because we didn't see all these things taking place. There was no man created. So when all these things are placed on the earth, and everything was created and made, and we speak about it, why are we speaking about it? We're speaking about it in faith because no man was alive at that point on the earth because the earth and man, not, none of that was created. So no one can say, I actually witnessed that. But that's a belief because this, this, the things that we see on the earth, the you know, trees and the earth and the ecosystem and the way everything is set up and the immune system and how the brain works and all of that, there had to be a higher power, higher intelligence to do these things. So this is how we see the works of the Most High. Right? Then we go to Wisdom of Solomon, 13 and 1. Surely vain are all men by nature who are ignorant of the Most High. And could not out of the good things that are seen know Him that is. You see? Because they're looking at the things. That's how we, we know or see the Father. Through His works. <clears throat> through the things that He has accomplished and put on the earth. You know, everything that we see, we know it came from him. And just the way, not just the things that are seen, but just the, the nature and the way that everything works in conjunction with each other. You know, humans breathe out, H, uh, what is that, uh, carbon dioxide, right, if I'm not mistaken. Trees take that in. And trees create what? They take in that, that, that is a, a, a recycling agent. Trees are a recycling agent that take in that carbon dioxide and give off what oxygen so what's happening there's a recycling going on to what to keep everything pure there's these are filters you have fish in the sea that are not to be eaten shellfish and so on and so forth scavengers those scavengers clean up the sea you know they keep everything you know clean that those are the filters you know you have worms worms whatever they eat and when they poop that replenishes the nutrients of the earth, the soil. So everything works in a synergy. The, the human body, the way it works. You know, the brain, the way it works. These are all things that are done of the Most High. And this is how we see the works of the Father. That's what Yahweh Shai was saying here in St. John, the first chapter. And he actually seen the Father because he was up in the heavens, sitting on the right-hand side. He was in his angelic, you know, being, his glorious state. So he actually seen the Father there. But being on the earth, the actions or the things that are happening around the earth, this is how we see the Father and the things that He does. You see? So let's see. Let's see uh, it says, uh, Surely vain are all men by nature who are ignorant of the Most High, who cannot of the good things that are seen know Him that is, neither by considering the works did they acknowledge the work master. Right. By the works. The things that are seen are created by something that is invisible. But knowing these things, you know, seeing these things, that's what gives us the ability, you know, to know that the Father is there. There's, uh, there's another one in Colossians. Let me see. Um... Right, Colossians 1 and 15, who is the image of the invisible power, the firstborn of every creature. For by him are all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created by him and for him. All right, 
Uh, let me see something. I think there was something in Romans 1 that just kind of popped in my head. Right. Romans 1.18 For the wrath of the Most High is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness because that which may be known of the Most High is manifest in them. Meaning what? The, the, uh, their wicked works are being manifested and the Lord eventually is going to destroy them. For the Most High have showed it unto them. Right. Because he showed you know, the right things to do. Going back to Noah. Going back to Sodom and Gomorrah and those cities and the things that the Lord did to those individuals back then that lived ungodly. It says, For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen. Woo! Wow! For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen. What is that? That's the things that the Heavenly Father is doing, that, has, that he has done and that he's doing. That's how we see the Father. In the artwork of the earth and the things that are, are, are here. That's how we see the Father. It says, being understood by the things that are made. See, even th by the things that are made of what? The, the people. Animals. The animals know the existence of the Most High there. You know? But humans are more, uh, are, have a higher intellect as far as that is concerned. Especially the Israelites. Even his eternal power and powerhead so that they are without excuse. All right. So this is how, you know, this scripture here in St. John 5, 19. Then answered Yahweh and said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, the son can do nothing of himself, but what he seeth the father do. For that what things soever he doeth, these also doeth the son likewise. So this is the Most High guiding Yahweh in his ministry, the things that he had to do. And he was following that, that, that footstep, those footsteps. And he said, you know, to follow him the same way. And this is why it says in, um, in uh, oh man, it just escaped me. Um, there was just a precept that popped in my head. This was, um, let's see what the father do. Yeah, it just escaped me. If it comes back, I'll bring it out. If not, then I'll leave it there. You know, but that's what that means, you know. That Then the answer Yahweh Shah said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, the Son can do nothing of himself, but what he see of the Father do. The things that are happening or ha going on in the earth, this is what the Lord, this is how we see the Lord's works. I wish that scripture would came, come back, but I guess it's not. I guess it's not going to come back. So it says, for what things soever he doeth, these also doeth the Son likewise. All right. For the Father loveth the Son, and showeth him all things that himself doeth. Right. And showeth him all things that himself doeth. Right. By what? By the actions that we see playing out on the earth. And he, oh, uh, damn, it almost came back. Following those footsteps. Oh, brakate hao bashim hao shai. Let's go to St. John, chapter 10. Damn it. St. John, chapter 10, and verse 27. My sheep hear my voice, and I know, know them, and they what? They follow me. By what? By the works that are being done. Because we don't physically see Yahushua here right now, but through the men that the Lord set up, we do. This is why the Apostle Paul said, Be ye followers of me, even as I am of Yahweh Shai. You know, so we you know, I mean, I put this this uh, video in the, you know, in the chat, in the live chat. I'll just put it there again, so in case anybody wants to watch it. Um, the clip I was sent was only about three minutes long. Um, so pretty much that was, you know, my answer to that. So with that, I pray that you brothers and few sisters have been edified. To the next time I say, Shalom.